When this game started, I was full of dread, Martial, hamstring injury, like the worst news we could have had on top of players like Smalling, De Gea, all these players not being available. But thankfully, we pulled through even when 1-0 behind to make it worse. So it just looked like this was not going to be our day. We hit the post. We missed a penalty. It was just really bad. And I don't care if people go, oh, it's only Michelin. Look at our squad. All right, look at the team that played Michelin. And look at the way they played. We had a 7th and 8th choice right back and left back. Well, full backs, basically. We had 7th and 8th choice. Maybe even more than that. We had two midfielders in defence. So many injuries have hindered this team. We had a, um, an 18-year-old striker making his debut up top in Marcus Rashford. And what a debut he had. Two goals. And this shows what we can do when we don't play two CDMs. I don't mean score five against Michelin. I mean the general play. We can create more for the striker. I'm pretty sure if we'd have put Rooney there, he would have scored a couple. Purely because... Uh, he, he's good at positioning. He knows how to position himself. And obviously, Michelin's defence wasn't amazing. But Marcus Rashford got in the positions. And it was... It obviously, it was down to him as well, but the general midfield just created more, created more chances, had more space, and just looked better because we didn't play with two holding CDM, so it wasn't static. There was movement for once, and we've scored five goals for the first time under Louis van Gaal, so don't give me this shit about who we've played. We lost against MK Dons 4-0 when playing youngsters, so we can play piss pot against piss poor um, opposition with youngsters. We, we've proved it before. So for us to perform like this, it's just so refreshing. Like We've had to sit through so much terrible football. I'm not on about results. I'm on about boring football. Like just It just makes you want to, like, I, I don't even know. You just zone out. You can't concentrate on it. It's that bad. It's side to side. So to see a level of performance like that, no matter who it's against, no matter what competition, it's just so refreshing. I hate being negative about Manchester United, but what else could I have been in the last two months? There's been nothing, virtually nothing to be positive about. So it was just brilliant. And Memphis, obviously he needs to build on this uh, form that he showed in this game and he needs to show some consistency, but you've got to give credit to him. He was absolutely amazing he was not making players for days he was pulling the skills out of his arse he just had a man of the match performance he showed why we spent the money on him and now he scored five goals in european competitions he's our top scorer in europe he just needs to replicate this form in the league and it seems as though this mentoring that he's had from gigs seems to have helped and he's he's actually looked up to him and you know he, he's playing with confidence and the injuries have helped him get into the squad, but thank God it did, and hopefully he builds on this. I mean, this, the quality's there. He just needs to unlock it and perform consistently. So we started the game off. It, it was horrific because we went 1-0 down, and it, it showed that our defence had two midfielders playing as centre-backs and a 7th and 8th. Uh, choice fullback in the team because the defence just got run ragged for this goal. Sisto with a brilliant uh, solo goal to make it 1-0 to Mitchell and it looked horrific from then in, on in. Um, like We obviously missed a penalty but that was after we equalised Memphis with some brilliant work from the left coming in and he manages to get his shot away and luckily one of Mitchell and players uh, puts it into their own goal. Uh, we had a penalty after that. It was a, a horrendous challenge from, again, one of their players. I'm, I'm not going to name them. I'm not going to profess to know too many of their players. I know, like, three of them, I think, and obviously Sisto being the main one that I know. But anyway, we missed the penalty. Well, Matt, I missed it. And uh, it goes level at half time. And it was worrying because if Mitchell had scored one more, then we would have needed three more goals and confidence wouldn't have been... Uh, high, so I don't think we would have done it, but thankfully we got the second goal, and it was some brilliant work from uh, Mata. Um, he came to light after he did this. He, he was playing really poor before this, but it's a brilliant assist, and Rashford is there, and he, he just slots it in. A brilliant debut for Rashford. A, a wonderful moment. I was so happy for him. Uh, we'd missed chances before this. Schneidlin had three. He had an overhead kick. He hit the post. He scuffed an easy shot. Um, Herrera had an easy shot as well. Brilliant work from Memphis again. He crosses it in, and Herrera heads it wide in an open net. Unbelievable, like it just didn't look as though it was going to go our way. But after that second goal, we, we relaxed a bit more and um, 
Rashford gets his second goal of the match and our third goal and it was obviously the important goal and I was just ecstatic after that and then afterwards we get a penalty uh, well Lingard did dive for uh, a penalty and he was rightly booked for a dive like I don't like seeing players dive and obviously we're known for that with Ashley Young so it wasn't nice and he was rightly booked for diving which should have happened but we got a second penalty again it, it, well, it was a handball this time, and it was a penalty, and Herrera smashes this one in to make it 4-1. Rashford, should he have been given the pen? I suppose giving it to Herrera um, just made sure of the penalty more. If Rashford had missed, and then we'd gone on to concede and went out, then, you know, it would have been really, really... Well, obviously, it would have been terrible, but I, I suppose we took the safer option, even though Rashford was on a hat-trick. That would have been fantastic, and he is a striker, so surely he can take a penalty, but nevertheless, after that, Memphis scores a wonderful goal. Honestly, terrific, and he deserved it outside the box. He, he cuts inside, and then he just smashes it into the bottom left to uh, literally five goals in a Louis van Gaal team. Five goals! Unreal. I don't care who the opposition is. We've never seen... A team under Louis Van Gaal, well, our team under Louis Van Gaal scored five goals, so it was terrific. We could have had more, but <laughs> we're through. We're in the last six, uh, last 16, and I never thought I'd be this happy to be in the last 16 of the Europa League, but it's the performance, it's some of the youngsters. Riley had a solid game, he was a debutant, uh, he was one of the fullbacks, and yet we just contributed, like contributed no we just were fantastic this game and now we need to build on it Varela had a very good game as well uh, again the other of our fullbacks I think he was Moyes' first signing actually for 250k but anyway fully deserved and now we face bigger tests we need to make sure we get a good result against Arsenal they're getting a lot of media hype and obviously we've been rightly criticized for how shit we've been so if we can at least give Arsenal a game with this injury depleted team that we do have then it's gonna it's gonna make a little bit of a statement and you know it could build it could build on some momentum and maybe the season won't pitter out like most of us think it will hopefully we can like prove ourselves wrong because I do think we're in danger of letting this season just completely get eradicated but hopefully we can rescue it right at the end and make some success out of it anyway oh, i'm delighted i'm just honestly delighted and yeah let me know your thoughts hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace